Hey everybody, Chrissy Tobas here today, and I'm going to show you how to make this card. Now what's fun about this is I used one of these Laura Kelly stamp sets along with some Glitz Glitter Gel. And these stamp sets are not holiday themed. So I took the house from the Me and My Peeps stamp set, and I turned it into a holiday themed card. So by doing this, you can see I used a Gina K stencil. Now normally I would use a Pixie Spray, which I showed you, but because the stencil has multiple pieces on it, I was using the purple tape to kind of guide me and to remind me not to go too far because sometimes when I use my Glitz Glitter Gel, um, I kind of like spread it all over. So this was just to remind me um, what not to do, where not to go. And then I just want to show you real quick, quick to clean off uh, the edges so your lids do not stick because it is uh, a form of adhesive. So there is some glue uh, type elements in there. They do get sticky. So make sure that you keep your lids clean before you put them back away and make sure you seal them tightly so they don't dry out. So here I'm just coloring really quick. I'm using some Spectrum Noir markers and I'm just kind of going through. I am not doing anything crazy with this coloring. Basically I kind of start with lighter colors and then I come in with darker medium and then go back over them with the light and the darker medium again. I just kind of flick them up, add a little bit of shadows. I did not really add any highlights. Um, my highlights are kind of like my lighter areas. Sometimes what I do is if I have three colors, I'll start with the really light and then come up with the medium and the dark. But with this, I was just kind of doing two and then some of the colors, I even just used one color and kept going back over it again. So I use a little maroon door here. So I did color the bushes green, but I will show you at the very end of the video what I did to make it look wintry. So this is one of the cards that I did previously. You can see it's dried now. So I did let it dry overnight. Um, it kind of depends upon the humidity and where you live. It usually takes about an hour, sometimes 45 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. And then I just went over it. I used some brushes, some Catherine Pooler um, ink blending brushes. This is my first time using them actually, so I really enjoyed the way that they came out. Um, I felt like I had a lot of control, so I just added some Catherine Pooler ink over that to kind of give the snowflakes a little bit of color, and I was trying to match it to this pattern paper as well. So I just decided to put some of the pattern paper on the edges just to kind of frame it and cover up where I didn't have those snowflakes from the stencil because the stencil, as you remember, how I masked it off was thin. So I didn't go all the way to the edges. So now I'm just going to create a little bit of a, a little bitty banner on there. So I just used the ink blending brushes again with another Catherine Fuller ink. This one has a little bit more green in it. So I stuck with that blue color scheme to make it look wintry. I say holidays, um, it is kind of Christmassy, but it's more wintry than anything. And I just did greeting. So that way I could use it at Christmas time if I wanted to, any other time during the holidays, even any time during winter, uh, maybe just to say hello. Because if you're like me, I swear I'm kind of like a hermit in the winter. I think I, I you know, I don't really go anywhere because it's cold because I live uh, right outside of Chicago. So I kind of hide in my house when it's really cold. So sending cards is a nice way to say hello to everyone. Like I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'm just hiding from the cold. So then I added some foam tape. I pieced everything together and added some foam tape. So it popped up just a little bit. And then really my final piece here was to add some sequins using some Zots Bling. So I just used some of these sequins here. I laid them out first to decide where they were going to go. And then to assemble the card, I used uh, this foam. This is on um, the foam tape roll, which I am loving so much. I just showed it there real quick because I have so much foam and I could not be happier. And I just pieced it on a card. And that was really it. I have a couple shots here. You can see afterwards, I did put some Glitz Glitter Gel on the roof. I completely forgot to do that in my video. But I added it to the bushes and the roof to make it look wintry. You can see that I used a Q-tip. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And I hope you have a great day.